hey there, it's been a while. And I wanted to take a minute just to sort of explain why, because I think a lot of you should know because I did announce it on all the different platforms, but on October 4th, I got into a car accident. Yes, another one. Thank you. Um, and in this case, I was actually, I was in a car, not in a, not on a bike. Um, and I was just to rehash this for those who don't know. Uh, I was driving straight on a 45 mile an hour roadway. I was going 40 miles an hour. I was expecting to take a left at the intersection, but I wasn't at the intersection yet. And a guy pulled out of me, um, out of a bank to take a left turn in front of me. And I just didn't have time to stop. Apparently a guy in the different, a different lane, a right lane to me, uh, waved him through. And so he came through being unable to see directly into traffic that's traveling at, you know, 40 miles an hour and it takes it takes more than a time to stop yet yeah, i mean so um we had that collision and yes it was all his fault uh of course but that it still has taken kind of a toll on my life so far and that was again this was only october 4th so it's still very recent i did go to the hospital at the time um I do have a concussion and some neck and back and shoulder injuries. I, I had some like damage to like bruising on my, my lungs, uh, pleuritis, uh, that's resolving, but my back and neck injuries seem to be kind of enduring and enduring. Um, I'm in physical therapy at the moment for them, but it's kind of, it makes a lot of things kind of uncomfortable. Like I can keep my head sort of straight looking at you as it were, but if I were to turn my head like upwards to look at, I don't know, somebody who was taller than me, like basically every man, um, <laughs> or, or if I were to try and look down, like I would to write something because yeah, I write my articles in uh, pen and then I type them up. It helps my brain to just work better. It slows me down a little bit and that helps me to, um, think things through a little bit more. But anyway, if I were to try and look down to do that, it, it hurts and also feels really tight and uncomfortable. So it's like, it, it just sort of like comes in and, and attacks different parts of, of your life, unfortunately, the, the health implications. And then the concussion is like, I haven't wanted to get in front of a camera because that also means getting in front of light and sort of looking into the light, which I realize in movies, you're not supposed to look into the light, but also you do it to create movies. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just, uh, light sensitivity has been something that I, I was dealing with. It's doing a lot better. Fortunately, I don't have to go to church wearing sunshades anymore because that was a thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, there's progress. It's just been kind of an imposition and a lot of things have been moving around at the same time. Uh, my car was totaled in the incident, which is a shame. I mean, like you don't realize that you have an emotional attachment to a car until you get the call and they tell you that it's totaled. And it's not like, oh, this is going to be difficult for me to find another car, even though that's true, or how much they're going to give, give out, it's not going to be enough to get the next car, which is also true. It's like, <laughs> you feel like you're grieving for a second there, you know, um, that there is this like love that kind of develops between you and your vehicle, at least if you're me, okay, maybe you don't, maybe you're just like fiercely rational and it's just a thing. But when I got that call, I was just like, yeah, I could have cried a little, just, just a little, but still it was, it was there. Um, so, and yes, it, again, it is, you may recall, I did get into an accident when I was on a bike and again someone pulled out to make a left in front of me and when you're on a bike you even have even less maneuverability in terms of stopping reversing all of it um and so I did have that two years ago in which I broke both of my arms so you may remember that so yes I am the unluckiest person you know so that's a thing um but you know it's just we have to fight the battles that come our way and as it turns out this is this is one of them for me. So I did, yeah, the car was totaled. I did get the car settlement amount. It's not as high as what the car was actually worth or what it would actually take to replace it, unfortunately. So that's another kind of burden that I now have to face and deal with going forward. And then, since this is a life update, um, Leo, our mascot and my buddy, um, got really sick a couple of 
days ago and I had to spend I think 10 hours in a different city at the emergency veterinary hospital and so I went there with a friend and she drove me and the dog and you know he was he was bleeding it was awful he just got he got diagnosed with HGE you can look that up it's apparently common in his breed um and so now he's he's on antibiotics and he's doing better but for a while there it was very touch and go and I just wasn't sure if he was gonna make it so today's actually the first day that he looks like he actually is definitely going to make it so thanks for the god for that because um I definitely don't want to lose him so that that was that was also a huge um thing because I was like I'm constantly watching this dog and he's uh, is he deteriorating? Is he getting better? Is he going to be okay? Um, and like I said, that the friend who who drove me there was an absolute saint. We didn't get back home until I think it was like six a.m. We both got back to our homes, so it was it, it was a it was a thing. And then we had sleep deprivation the next day, um, as one does. And then I had to go to physical therapy for, and then I was in pain. And so there's there's been a lot, honestly, that has. But moving forwards, um, I can now kind of look into the light as as being demonstrated um, right here. Glad to glad to do that for you. Um, there's a lot I think to talk about right now, so I'm hoping that I can uh, put out a few videos in the coming weeks, including this week. And so I'll I'll record another video in a minute. It's it's kind of weird when you're recording when you record videos back to back, but in any case, I'll do that shortly because uh, there's a lot to talk about. There's this kind of hilarious but shouldn't be um, case where it was one of those uh, officer involved shootings and the um, that Black Lives Matter movement is kind of you know rearing its head as it does and it's just like one of the most clear cut you know correct cases of use of force um, that you can see but yes you know, there's stuff like that that I think we should we should talk about and there's also an election coming up and I've had some people who have been emailing me and asking like is there a moral choice here? Because I I don't see it. And um, my answer to that, in in brief, I'll do a long form video, a different one. But in brief, it's like there's there's no perfect candidate um, for sure. Like we can we can say that um, very clearly. I I don't think we have any saints who are running for election. I do think that um, it would be grossly immoral for anyone to vote for Kamala Harris. Um, I think that's. I mean, she's just. Her policies are just so unbelievably evil um, that I think it would be it would be gravely um, sinful to to vote for her. So it's like you do the highest good that you can do within the circumstances in which you're presented. Um, but I will talk about that in more detail um, elsewhere. So please just you know kind of stay in touch, keep watching, um, stay abreast of announcements, and I will begin or we begin in the aftermath of all of these different miniature catastrophes um, to, to, to start uh, putting out content again. Thank you for your patience with me. I really do appreciate it as life has sort of thrown a lot of different uh, curveballs at me recently. Thank you.